If you're into filming your backcountry adventures like I am, you probably looked at upping your game a bit when it comes to filming by adding a drone. And if so, you've probably came across these two popular drones, the DJI Mavic Air 2 and the DJI Mini 2. You know, both these drones are great travel drone options, and they both sport a camera that is capable of shooting in 4K, so pretty awesome for that. The Mini 2, though, is the newest option, and it comes in at just under 249 grams, which is pretty significant because of the new drone regulations that are happening. But when you go lightweight, you do make some sacrifices. So let's compare and contrast these two drones, see what are some of the sacrifices you are making, and deal with some of the pros and cons, and figure out what is the better drone to go with. Let's go. Now, if you're a hiker, backpacker, or a traveler like me, you really want to be thinking of what is the best bang for my buck? What are the features I can have while having in a good lightweight package? So carrying comparison is something. Now, it's not just saying, oh, here's a drone that weighs 750 grams and here's a drone that weighs 249 grams. No brainer, right? No, you also want to consider what it is that you're taking in your bags. Now, many people focus on the weight of the Mini 2 solely, but don't take into consideration the total weight that you're needing to carry the whole drone along with its accessories. So just want to consider that as well. What would you be taking if you're going to take this drone out into the field, hiking, backpacking, mountaineering, whatever? Uh, what is the weight of those things? So let me just show you what I would do. If I were to take my Mavic Air 2, I would take my Mavic Air drone along with the three batteries, one that's included here and the two here, with the remote and this little propeller holder, the gimbal cover, and the bag. That's all I would really take out in the field. Because you cannot really charge these by USB-C, I wouldn't be taking the charger or anything like that. I would just have the batteries that I need, I'd have them fully charged, and that's what I would take out in the field. Now, when I do that, um, it comes out to be a total weight for these things all weighed is 3.8 pounds. So 3.8 pounds for everything that you see right here. So that's something to consider. Now with the Mini 2, if I were to take my Mini 2 on these adventures, I would take the drone obviously. I would take the remote, which is the exact same remote, same weight and everything as the Mavic Air 2. So I would take the remote. I would also take the two extra batteries inside that charging hub I would take my propeller holder as well, the gimbal cover and the bag. Now, if I was to take this drone like this, since I can charge these batteries, I most likely would take a battery power bank with a USB type C cord as well. Now, something to consider is without this power bank, if I were to take this drone with the remote, the drone, the batteries, the hub, and these propeller guard and the gimbal, it comes out to be 2.7 pounds. So you're looking about a pound difference between these two drones. Now let's say I do want to take my battery power bank and the cord so I can recharge these batteries out in the field. By the way, this is a 13,400 milliamp hour uh, battery power pack that you have here. Now if I was to include this, into this carrying pack, it's 3.3 pounds. And most likely this is what I would be doing because I do wanna recharge these batteries out in the field. So 3.3 pounds to 3.8 pounds, you're looking at 0.5 pound differences, half a pound basically for these drones, but you're getting all these different features. So really you have to decide which one would I be going with? Um, the weight isn't a huge difference, it is a difference, but you will have to register this drone as you won't have to register this. But coming in backpacking and all that, uh, this is something to consider, is what is the total carry weight of these drones if I were to take it out in the field with the necessary accessories to make them run? So let's consider the pros. First, we'll talk about the Mavic Air 2. Now this is an excellent drone. This came out in early 2020 and uh, has 4K capabilities up to filming in 4K 60. Another pro about this is that it does have obstacle avoidance in the front and on the back. So that's a pretty cool thing, especially if you're newer into drones, this is gonna help protect your investment a little bit more with the obstacle avoidance. Another thing is the camera is a half inch sensor. So you're gonna get a little bit better video quality and colors than you will, especially at night, than you will with the DJI Mini 2. 
Another pro about the Mavic Air 2 is it's pretty much a better option when it comes if you're a solo creator. And the reason is because it has the active track capability. So if you want something that follows you and, and films you as you go, or if you want something that's gonna uh, dodge obstacles and follow you, uh, this is a worthy option to consider. Another thing about the Mavic Air 2 is it's capable of filming an HDR and also a flat profile called Decinolite. So pretty cool thing if you want to go and edit your uh, video further more in post to really bring out the colors, uh, you can do so with the Mavic Air 2. Another pro about the Mavic Air 2 is it's gonna have better motors, stronger motors, and it weighs significantly more, so it does better in strong winds. So if you're gonna take it up into mountain passes like I am where you might experience wind tunnels and, and stronger winds, uh, it's good to have one that's capable of doing it. Now they're both rated at level five resistance, but it's, it's evident because of the weight and the better motors in this drone, you will have better capabilities. It's also able to go up to faster speeds than the Mini 2, so another pro with that. Now let's consider the cons for the Mavic Air 2. The, the biggest con is, is it's heavier. It's heavier than the Mini 2. The Mini 2 at 249 grams, where the Mavic Air 2 is almost double that. And so, which means you have to register come later on in the year when the FAA wants to do their remote ID uh, because you are registered, because you are obligated to do that because of the weight limits, uh, you will be subject to that. So something to consider if you do go with the Mavic Air 2. Another con about the Mavic Air 2 is the batteries are not rechargeable by USB-C like the Mini is. The USB-C uh, with the Mini 2 is really nice because you can do it while you're out in the field. But if you need more batteries for the Mavic Air 2, you pretty much just have to bring more batteries and have them charged, which just, again, adds to the weight. Now let's consider the pros of the Mini 2. The first is the biggest pro, which is it's under 249 grams, which means you don't have to register it with the FAA and you're not have to be subject to remote ID as of yet as the current laws are. So you are a lot easier able to take it into other countries and be able to use it because it comes under that weight limit. Another pro about the Mini 2 is even though it's a slightly smaller sensor, it's still producing excellent video quality. You get 100 bit rate and you're still filming at 4K 30. So uh, pretty cool. You're not getting a lot of difference with the Mavic Air 2. Now it is a little bit more cropped, uh, but uh, it's still an excellent picture. And the only time you'll really notice some of these differences is when it comes to the low light. Another pro is the batteries for the Mini 2. The Mini 2 you can recharge by USB-C uh, through your battery pack. So if you're traveling out in the field rather than purchasing additional batteries, you can just bring your battery pack and connect it by USB-C to either your drone or you can connect it to the charging pack that comes with the content creator combo and you can charge your batteries that way. So it's a lot easier to charge in the field as opposed to the Mavic Air 2. Now let's consider some of the cons of the Mini 2. The first con is you're not gonna have obstacle avoidance. Uh, because it's so small in an effort to save weight, you don't have obstacle avoidance like you do in the front and the back with the Mavic Air 2. So something to consider with that. Another thing is because you don't have obstacle avoidance, you also don't have active tracking. So if you need something to follow you, if you need something to uh, do like uh, the, the spotlight mode like you can do on the Mavic Air 2, you cannot do it with the Mini 2 because it doesn't have obstacle avoidance and doesn't have active track. So those are some of the biggest drawbacks to consider if you are gonna go with the Mini 2. Another con about the Mini 2 is you do not have those flat profiles and you do not have HDR mode like you do in the Mavic Air 2. Another con about the Mini 2 is you do not have any onboard memory. With the Mavic Air 2, you have eight gigabytes of onboard memory if you forget your uh, little card, but uh, if you uh, do not bring it with your Mini 2, you're pretty much out of luck for recording video. Another con is even though it's rated at level five wind resistance, because it's so lightweight, it will get tossed around in the wind a lot more than it will the Mavic Air 2. So while the motors have been upgraded from the, the Mini 1, it's nowhere near comparison to the Mavic Air 2. That is just gonna be a stronger uh, drone in heavy winds. So if you're not in heavy winds, if you're in near perfect conditions, uh, the Mini 2 is an excellent drone to have. But if you get in higher winds, uh, above 15 miles an hour to 20 miles an hour, you definitely wanna consider a different drone. So concluding thoughts, both these drones are very awesome, very capable of getting excellent video footage. So what is the better drone that you should go with? Well, ultimately it comes down to 
your needs. What are you needing a drone for? And really you alone can answer that. The Mavic Air 2 is gonna do better in the harsher wind conditions and elements than the Mini 2. The Mavic Air 2 is gonna do better in tracking and following you for a solo content creator than the Mini 2 is. The Mini 2 is gonna be more of the uh, getting the really nice uh, top shots up of the scenery and stuff. But if you need something that can do obstacle avoidance, that can uh, track you, the Mavic Air 2 might be the better drone for you. If you're looking for something that's great to travel, that's compact, that's lightweight, that's easy to charge up out in the field, then the Mini 2 is an excellent drone to go with and you're gonna get excellent video. So what drone did I decide to go with? I decided to go with the Mavic Air 2. And the reason is because I'm gonna be using it for a little bit more than merely hiking and having it get aerial shots. I do want it to track me. I do want it to be able to dodge uh, obstacles. Uh, I'm gonna be on my bike and I plan to ride this through the trails where it's gonna be needing to dodge trees. I'm gonna be in my Jeep wanting to do some overlanding and want this to follow the Jeep. And it's a lot easier to do that, letting the drone do it by its active track than trying to control it manually like the Mini 2. So I'm gonna go with that because of that. And given the, the mere difference in the weight, uh, I think that's something to sacrifice as opposed to the greater things that I'm gonna be getting with this drone. So what did you think of these two DJI drones, the Mavic Air 2 and the Mini 2? Which one won the battle for you? And which one would you go with and what would you use it for? Leave me a comment in the comment section. If you like what you saw, make sure to give me a thumbs up. Also subscribe to see more content like this. And as always, thanks for watching.